If you're joining us today, my name is Gavin Hill. With me today is Tammy Miskadis, Venify CISO and CIO. We're discussing the changes in the overall threat landscape. Tammy, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So considering the threat landscape is changing so rapidly, resulting in new technologies, and quite frankly, many security vendors not being able to keep up, what changes do you see in the security technology space as to what new technologies do you believe, for example, will be successful in detecting and remediating new trust-based threats? That's a great question. I think that one of the biggest concerns is that you're exactly right. Most of the products out there today cannot detect uh, the new threats that are coming to our uh, environment. Attacks on trust, um, obviously I came to work for Venify just for that reason is because it's something I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And it's the only tool that I know that's able to actually do the work it needs to do to find your keys and certificates in your environment. I mean, that's any key, any cert anywhere, right? I think that's kind of one of the mantras that we go with. And if you look at some of the other technologies, uh, malware detection, et cetera, that they're nice to have and, and they're, they're the basics and the foundations of security, but there's no way with the increase in malware that they'll ever be able to keep up. And what the malware is doing today is stealing our keys, our certificates, our our information from our trusted assets in our environment, and we don't even know they're being stolen. And even with some of the technologies in malware where it's cleaning off your viruses and your malware, it's already stolen the keys to your kingdom. So you're, you know, you're, you're able to run your equipment better faster because the malware is cleaned off, but it's already done its damage. And then in, the, in, the, in hindsight, you think about it, they stole your keys and certificates through malware. And so you need technologies like Venify to be able to actually help you to identify what's trusted and not trusted in your environment. It's very good. And I think in our last session, we spoke about the fact that uh, SSL-born attacks are growing so rapidly um, by 2017, Gartner estimates 50%. And uh, you have different opinions and views on that. Yes, I do. Um, so interesting then, from a technology perspective, do you think that security organizations will actually be caught up by next year or even 2017 to actually be, help detect some of these threats? Um, you know, I think because security is, um, and cyber threats are moving so quick, it's going to be very difficult to keep up. Mm -hmm. I think that we're in a very unique situation at Benefi uh, being able to do what we do, and we do it so well. Um, but as for some of the other technologies, they're going to do a great job in the space that they're in, and uh, there'll be products that will need to you know, stay foundational, as I said, and then there'll be others that I think will just leave the, um, the cyber market just not being able to keep up. Great. Well, Tammy, once again, thank you for your time and your insight on this topic. Um, in fact, this is a, probably a good segue we're going to be doing some additional sessions as to, uh, from, a, from a CISO podcast perspective as to discussing how the CISO role is changing um, and addressing new business objectives and threats. So thank you again once again for your time. Thanks, Ken.